and the baby. Hello, welcome to Bourbon and the Baby. My name is Jay. Max is not going to be joining us tonight because Max is 19 years shy of being old enough to drink Weller Full Proof with his dad. All right, an exciting episode tonight because I'm going to be reviewing Weller Full Proof, the blue label. First time I've seen a bottle of this in person. Um, super hard to come by. Um, Weller from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Um, again, if I've reviewed other Wellers on the channel recently and it's hard to come by. <laughs> it's hard to come by. You know, maybe you can find Weller Special Reserve or um, maybe even Weller Antique 107, but anything above that tends to um, be really, really, really rare and, and hard to get. Um, so Weller Full Proof is 114 proof. That is what it enters the barrel at. And so um, usually as it ages, um, that proof point will go up. Um, so in order to bottle it back at 114 proof, they do add some water to, to proof it back down to 114. Um, but it's called full proof because that is its barrel entry proof. Uh, also, this is non-chill filtered, which um, is pretty, pretty cool. You, you see that happening a lot more. Um, and one of the things that comes with chill one of the reasons that companies do filter, and, and in particular chill, chill filter, is because sometimes you get um, uh, like floaties <laughs> or, or things that, that get through the, the original kind of filtration process, um, uh, or maybe it looks a little bit cloudy. Uh, and yeah, you can definitely see a little bit of those. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but uh, as I'm looking at it, uh, you get uh, a little bit of those floaties in there that kind of lets you know um, that yeah, this was not chill filtered. Uh, and one of the things that, one of the reasons why being non chill filtered is kind of a, a big buzzword and whiskey enthusiasts really kind of look for that now uh, in, in their bourbons and whiskeys is because um, that chill filtration process, while it doesn't make a huge difference in the taste or the flavor, it does make some difference. And by not chill filtering it, um, you kind of giving a more pure form of, of what this is going to taste like if you were drinking it straight out of the barrel. Um, uh, so it leaves, you know, a little bit more of those uh, flavor flavors behind. Uh, and, and so that's why it's becoming more and more of a buzzword uh, and, and more and more popular, again, amongst amongst those that, that are really into, uh, into whiskey. All right, so let's check the nose on this. Very sweet, light, fruity, vanilla. Definitely a lot more, um, a lot more complex than some of the other um, uh, Wellers that I've that I've tried recently. Yeah, real heavy on the vanilla on this. It's like a soft, ripe fruit, and like a light. Hint of, of brown sugar. So, lovely. <laughs> lovely on the nose. Let's go ahead and go in for a taste. Cheers. Okay. All right. Now that is what you want. If you're if you're really into into whiskey and you like a lot of complex and robust flavor, this is this is going right up that alley. A lot of different stuff going on. Whereas the nose came across super sweet and, and, and like heavy vanilla the palate, a lot more spicy up front. Hits the sides of your tongue. You can taste the oak, um, but then as it finishes. That's where you get the softer, more mellow um, vanilla notes. So it's like it kind of hits you up front and then like just calms you down <laughs> on the way down. Uh, so it was a really good experience. 
Uh, the the 114 proof definitely you can taste it. it. It tastes a lot hotter, but it's not like overpowering to where it's like um, you, or you have to like do a double take. <laughs> like sometimes when you take uh, when you drink um, your first sip of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or your first sip of like a Stag Junior. Sometimes like you're just like holy crap and it like punches you in the face. Um, this this definitely lets you know that it's higher proof at 114, but it doesn't like you know kick you in the nose. Uh, <laughs> so it's like um, you know it's you know it's hot, but it's like but it's nice. It's real nice. Uh, um, honestly. If I tasted this blind for the first time, I would think maybe it was 100 proof. Um, uh, that would be probably my guess. But, so yeah, uh, nice and warm, but not overpowering. The second sip, really getting the cinnamon. And that must be like, when it comes to Weller, it's funny, like if I if I if I'm drinking Weller Special Reserve, I get uh, which I believe is 90 proof. I, I get like practically no cinnamon. But if I drink Weller Antique 107, which is 107 proof, I get a lot of cinnamon. And this, I'm getting the cinnamon, uh, definitely pretty prominent. Um, so maybe the higher the higher up in proof you go with the, with this uh, with this line, the more you get those cinnamon notes. Um, but yeah, real oaky, cinnamon up front, and then just kind of mellows into some, some vanilla um, and, and, and a little bit of brown sugar as well. Whereas like on the nose, I got a lot of like ripe fruits um, and just like just overly soft and sweet. Um, again, that doesn't come through as, as much on the, on the palate, especially up front. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So this um, retails at $49.99. Probably won't find it <laughs> on the shelf for $49.99, unfortunately. Um, it is definitely worth that all day long. Uh, I would buy 10 of these at $49.99 if I were able to. Um, uh, but this one, you know, as, as much as I hate like the bourbon secondary market and, and the overhyped train, uh, especially when it comes to Weller uh, or anything Buffalo Trace, um, this one I would be willing to pay a little bit more for. Um, I I don't, it's hard to say how much I'd be willing to pay for it. Maybe, maybe I'd go up to $100 for a bottle of this. But um, uh, yeah, this, I would go, so when, when it comes to Weller, uh, again, you've got Special Reserve on the lower end, then Antique, then um, then your Single Barrel Full Proof, Craft Your Perfect Bourbon, um, uh, then like William Larue Weller on the high end. But as far as ones that I would like really seek out and, and, and potentially you know try to get a bottle of and, and really hunt for, um, this would be up there. You know. If, Take William LaRue Weller out of the equation because that one I would definitely hunt for too. But uh, for the regular Weller line, this would be the one that I would say is like the one to get. Um, now that being said though, Weller Antique 107 is only seven proof points lower than this. Um, it's not as hard to find. Uh, I mean, it's still not easy to find, but it's not, you, it can be done. I have bought it at retail before um, that do I think there's that big of a difference between that and this to, to justify paying so much more for this or, or maybe like seeking this out so much more I don't know I, I don't know it's a good question um, what I can say is this is really good and I think it is more complex than 107 um, uh, it packs a bigger punch I think um, and it it just it brings something a little bit different, although it definitely has a lot of the same characteristics, but it, I, I think it is bringing something different to the table. 
Um, it tastes a little bit more premium. So yeah, I think I would be willing to, to part with a little bit more money for this guy than I would for, for Antique 107. Uh, so yeah, this would definitely be the one if I were to, uh, to, to, to hunt and, and really search for for one of these, this would be the one that I would I would really go for. So it's fantastic. Uh, all right, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Weller Foolproof? Um, do you think it's worth it? Do you what, what did you pay for it if you were able to find a bottle? Uh, what are your overall thoughts on it? Please let me know. Um, you can uh, follow Max and myself on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please like uh, this video, subscribe to our channel, and last but not least, uh, hit that link in the description below for our shop on Spreadshirt. Um, get you some bourbon and baby gear. Thanks for watching. Cheers. That's just good. That's that's yummy.